hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc so today's video um basically i'm gonna be going to the only perfume shop in anguilla in my hometown yep i'm still here i wanted to go here and kind of check out the availability i should say the selection of fragrances that's available in anguilla because i have one or two subscribers well i have a few subscribers on here but a few of them have mentioned to me that you know it is kind of hard to get access to certain fragrances so i just want to come here and see you know what fragrances are available and like i said to you my island is very small it's 35 square miles a population of about 12,000, give or take maybe 15,000, because you know a lot has changed since i left so there's literally only one perfume store in anguilla and it's actually all locally owned which is the majority of the businesses in anguilla so i'm here at iga mall which is like um, a fair play mall it's a mall that hosts, a, that hosts a lot of stuff you have like a bank so you have like republic bank to the back there there's a few stores around here perfume shop clothing stores perfume shop perfume shop clothing stores and that's like a gym or something here so everything here is locally owned except for the republic bank so yeah i got ikea where am I? Sorry. Ooh, Caribbean IKEA. And that's a, a floral shop. So yeah, this is a you know a local owned plaza mall, if you may. And they have the only perfume shop in Anguilla. So if you guys are interested in seeing, you know, what fragrances are available in Anguilla, then by all means keep on watching. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, thank you guys for supporting me. I truly appreciate your support. Boom, bam, bam. Bell for months. This is pretty. It's different. Mm -hmm. God, bear something. Bear something. Mommy. Yeah. All right, guys. So... I'm here in the perfume shop and this is like the little you know children area yes nadia thank you so much for giving me some view. <laughs> right so this is the little children's section where they literally have like perfume selections for children which i think is really cute and of course my daughter came in here with me and um yeah she treated herself say hi yeah yeah hi damn problem child so these are the children's fragrances. Look at their frozen or Disney inspired fragrances. I think it's really cute. They're really soft and you know really pretty. And they have like those, I think this, I'm thinking this is like a bad bomb or something that I'm not quite sure. But yeah, these are you know the selection of children's fragrances. I think it's really, really cute. I've actually never seen um no no move your hand. I've actually never seen um you know like children fragrances like this i don't know maybe i don't really look around for them because obviously i don't really shop for fragrances for kids and i would most likely go for i don't know something like juicy couture or something like that no offense to juicy couture but <laughs> these are the availability of fragrances and they do smell quite nice actually so that's the availability for the kitties these look like some body sprays yeah okay so over here now what's this one woman's secret okay i'm not okay, quite sure body sprays body mist oh we have some Ari ariana grande cloud body mist oh so i don't have cloud you guys know cloud is a very popular fragrance so the body mist i'm sure is just as popular okay. and we also have some paris hilton electric so these are the body mist that they have i realize you know in the fragrance community right excuse the glare oh, sorry i realized in the fragrance community um body mist like um are very popular which i really didn't know well i really don't have any body mist to be fair but they're very popular especially during the summer because you know they're light they're nice and spritzy and very light and eerie so those are quite nice oh we got aura mugler but this is the body lotion oh i've actually never seen the body lotion i don't have aura by mugler perfume either but the cream must be really nice i'm sure so now we get on to the good stuff these are let me just give you guys a yay so they got like different sections all across here yay we're gonna get right into it yeah, we're gonna... yes they got jean paul jean paul Miyake, mont blanc so we got azaro here elizabeth arden jimmy chu coach Coach, we got some stuff from Coach. Is it Paris Hilton here as well? Ooh, I actually never smelled that fragrance from Rihanna Crush. I would like to have a smell of that today. I have my Rogue. I love Rogue. 
Rogue Love. Ooh, we got a lot from Ariana Grande and Vince Camucho. And we got a lot of fragrances for the men, a good men's section. I love that. Kenzo, very popular. Kenzo is very popular. I want to smell Kenzo. I want to smell Kenzo. And I want to smell some of these fragrances from Rihanna. I've actually never smelled those. So we got Good Girl. Oh, I love the Good Girl Carolina cream. Oh my God, I love very Good Girl. You know what? Okay, so we have a last selection for men. We have Olympia Blossom. I love this song. I think I smell Olympia Blossom. Ooh, my Dolce and Gabbana. So I'm gonna check out the prices as well to see, you know, how they differ from like the UK prices and stuff like that. So we're gonna just get into it. I'm just giving you guys a quick scan, and that's pretty much the availability. A quick overlook of the availability. So I'm gonna get into some of the fragrances, of course, some that I have not even touched in England either. <laughs> Okay, ooh, we're up to the time. It's the performing ten, so we have intense. You know what? I've, I don't believe I've, I don't believe I've ever smelled scandal at Paris. No. Unless it's so. Ooh, have I? Actually, no. I think I have smelled so scandal. Yes, that's La Vie Belle. You know this one? Yeah? Ooh. No, I don't know this one. Let's have a look. Sparkling blush by Michael Kors. I don't have anything from Michael Kors in my collection. So, so Michael Kors sparkling blush. It smells red like the name implies, quite sparkling. It has a lot of fruity notes in here so, but it's very fresh and airy. I'm kind of getting grapefruit somehow in this fragrance, but it's really nice though. It's giving me Dolce & Cabana vibes. A little bit different. <laughs> Miracle by Lancome. I've never tried this one either. So this is nice, but it's different. It has something a little bit green in it. It's a little citrusy green vibe to it, but it's really pretty. I don't know Miracle, to be honest. I don't know this one. I think this is one of the old school um, Lancomes, one of the, the classics from Lancome. Because I heard about it before. Okay, I want to try the the crush, the Rihanna crush bottles. These are the, these are the new, mm. those are more new. Oh, I've never smelled these ones either. Let's try this all again. I can't see. Oh, this is sweet. Oh my god, this is nice. No, I didn't even smell this. Oh my god, this is so nice. You guys, I've never smelled this perfume. This is well raved about in a perfume community, you guys. I mean, this is Rihanna, but this is good. This is, I didn't realize this shoe was so good. This is really really good Ooh, isn't that selection yeah. must noir you know i think i've tried must noir you guys know how i feel about narciso i have a few narciso i have the cubes but i haven't dived into anything else from my from narciso it's actually sweet it has like a minty sweet berry creamy berryness to it this is nice i like this more than the cube so i try narciso and i buy all four cubes and i don't really dig the brand too much mm -hmm. but this is nice this is airy it's like a minty berryness very sweetness to it this is nice very popular one as well so this is nice i want to try ha right chloe i have never tried i'm the only Good. person in you know the perfume community that has never tried chloe or doesn't have one in her collection so let's have a go because yeah. once upon a time chloe was like the hottest thing oh, ever it's smells like a cream soda it smells nice though i mean i know my description you know what i know my description of fragrances would be very um amusing but <laughs> bear with me so you guys gonna get an idea this is nice it's very fresh very fresh there's like a berry sweetness it's giving me um Lani Trezor Musk Diamante Vibes. This is what it's giving me. And okay, now my uh, Rihanna. I don't know the name of this one. Nude, the name. Rihanna Nude. Right, Rihanna Nude. I don't mm -hmm. have this and I've never tried it. Never tried this perfume, which is. Okay. I ain't like it much though. The nude, I ain't like it much. It ain't sweet. The it, red, it's, it's, it's my. Yeah, this mine. the red one though. Yeah, the mine. red Rihanna is definitely something special. Definitely something special. Okay, which one? Oh, I want to try this. Okay, Rihanna Crush. Again, very, very popular. I love this bottle. I don't know why. I've never, I've never, I've never gotten a chance to smell it. It's the only reason why I never bought it, but I love this bottle. Okay, she smells very fresh. I want to say there's something buttery. I don't know what I'm picking up, but there's something like sweet, a little bit nutty and creamy and sweet at the same time in this one. This is pretty, it's nice. It's different, I would say. Yeah, it's nice. Because it goes nutty. Oh, shoot, I forgot the prices. I'm gonna put them up on a thingy. So I don't want no 
Yeah, you using that range from sixty five up to a hundred. Um, uh, um, the Creed is three hundred forty five. Yeah, well, that's Creed. Yeah. That's Creed. Yeah, we know Creed but is a good buy. From, from one sixty five up, from sixty five up to. Um, so one, how much do you guys sell? So how much do you sell the Rihanna, the Revan Paul? Sixty five. Sixty five for the Rihanna. Rihanna sixty five. And then 65. the Nude. The Nude is sixty five too. Sixty five. And the Rihanna is sixty five. And what about the Nomad? How much the Nomad is the Chloe? The Chloe, the Chloe got me a hundred dollars. Mom. 100. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Paul fixed it. Euphoria. So I actually have one from. I have one the original Euphoria, and I gave it to Pam actually. So I haven't tried any of the flankers from Euphoria at all. Let's have a go. I've actually never seen this bottle. Oh, this is nice. I this is masculine though. This is for the men. It's mm -hmm. musky. Can we try this one? So, mm -hmm. Musky. This is very strong. Yeah, this is a man. This is nice. This is a, so this is a really nice nighttime fragrance for men, in my opinion. Which one is this? This is a perfume. Oh, amber, amber gold euphoria. I think this is a really nice male fragrance. Uh, fragrance for men for nighttime. This is a nice scent. I like it. It's and, and by the way, euphoria tends to give you um tamper black orchid vibes. If a lighter version of tamper black orchid vibe, but sweeter as well. So that's the vibe that I get from Euphoria. Let me try this one. I don't know this one here. This is pure gold. I like the name. Andy, um, Andy, so this is a fresher what? one, but it's a dressy one as well. I think this is Andy, this. a mermaid. Yes, a mermaid. Yes, baby, a mermaid. Mm. This is different. It's coming off a little masculine as well, but it's not white and gold. So I don't know. I think this could be unisex. It's not specifying, so it's probably unisex, but it's nice. It's like a fresher. Yeah, that's a white one. Um, that's the lady one. Yeah. So it's fresher, but it's still musky and strong and very punchy, heavy on the florals and a little bit squishy as well. Again, Tom Ford vibes. These are strong fragrances. Euphoria is very strong. Okay. And how much do you guys sell the Euphoria for? $75. $75 for the 100 So 75 US for the 3.4 ounces. Not too bad at all. So how much do you guys sell the scandal for? It $110. $110. So you guys have scandal by night for $110? I think it's about the same price in England. No, I'll take, I'll pop, I'll be sure. You guys, I'm gonna pop the prices up on the screen. I'm gonna make a comparison for you guys to see the availability and the cost. To be honest, one hundred. So one hundred for the scandal by night. I can't remember how much I paid for this one. And you got your label. It's one hundred too. One hundred. Okay. Label intense. This is mm. so nice. By the way, guys, these are US dollars. No, not EC. US dollars. Mm -hmm. So we use obviously so um it's an easy country but we use mostly mostly us so most of the price that give you here will be in us dollars can i try this coach floral so i have not tried any of these coach fragrances and i've always been attracted to the bottle the top one the top one the one to the top oh yeah let me try both why not um coach dreams coach dreams and coach sunset now this one here i've always been intrigued like this one i always see this on people's channel and i love thank you and i love the bottle i love the bottle but i actually never had a chance to try mm, this is pretty it's looking, what kind of vibes? okay so it's giving me slight mark jacobs vibes like the mark jacobs um those new ones you're so fresh are intense it's giving me slight vibes like that but it is pretty it's very fresh mm, it's coming out quite strong as well that's nice Let's have a try with cook. So I don't know. So I don't know much about these ones and these bottles here. So let's have a try. Mostly I see these bottles. But these bottles look very interesting. Tell me how you take it. I know, I know I was taking it off wrong. Yeah, this you had a scrub on me. I'm taking it off yeah, wrong. So by the way, Mommy. the sprayer is through the flower. So you don't take it off. Mm, this is nice though. It's very youthful though. It's quite youthful, very fresh, very playful. I like that. So that's a coach dreams. And this one here again, peep the bottle because I find this is very pretty. It's like a flower and a spray in the floor. Nice. To be honest. I've never seen these bottles before. These, these are the names that I'm getting. Coach Dreams Sunset. Nice. This one has a note in here. I want why I'm, I'm picking up like almonds and pistachio or something of that style i don't know what i'm picking up but there's a pistachio vibe. this one is my favorite this one is nicer to me and this one is a little fresher i love these these are quite nice and so how much you would sell these for okay so 90 for the coach sunset which is this one 
and for this one it would be 90 for the coach you know nice i love these fragrances oh can i try jlo glow you guys i have never tried jennifer lopez fragrance could you imagine ah. This is a new version, right? New one. Do you smell all these here, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, love them. Ooh, I'm I am probably the only person who doesn't have this in her collection, and has never smelt it. It's, it has like an aquatic vibe to a nice, refreshing aquatic vibe. Slight um, what you call it? Jador vibes to me. I like it. This fragrance, in my opinion, in my opinion, has somewhat of an impression to it. I like it. The aquaticness is kind of like I don't know. It's so J Lo. <laughs> if that makes any sense, it has a sexiness to me. In my opinion, this pink sugar. I need to smell pink sugar. So let me just tell you guys about this perfume. Now you need to smell this. So pink sugar, people go crazy over this one. And the flank out. So you guys want to have the original pink sugar? That's what we have. Yeah. So this pink sugar as you guys already know is very 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 popular it's been around for a very long time i've never smelled this perfume either so the good thing is that availability here in anguilla it gives you a taste of things that's in and out and have like fragrances that's like very well raved about so that's quite nice i i want to try this so let's try it right you never smell it smells like there's a sweetness to it you need to smell this one too oh wow this is interesting which one? This one here, like a. Uh, oh. You need some help? It smells like. It smells like a um a chocolatey cherry sweet candy like vibe. I don't know what's in here. It's a very sweet like like syrupy vibe to it, but it smells chocolatey and nutty together too. It smells candy. Yeah. You like it, Matt? It's sweet. Yeah. Interesting extremely sweet though very very sweet this is nice though it's a super sweetness to it let's have a go i tell you i love these fragrances just because of the bottle juju come down here man i like this one a kiss by who it's a candy sweetness with a freshness as well i like that one that one is nice how much do you say? That's Rui by Rihanna again. 65. 65. Oh yeah, you did tell me that already. So these are 65. Mm -hmm. Can I try the Ariana Grande again? Okay, so Ariana Grande fragrances have been making a lot of noise. They're very popular. And believe it or not, I have never tried any of them, which is crazy. So let's have a go in these fancy bottles. Now, have you tried Ariana Grande? Mm, yeah, I have. crazy. Oh my God. So this one here again very popular never smell this perfume oh, the bottle is cute though oh my god the bottle is super cute though nice what do you think i like it. it this is actually beautiful maybe i could start showing ariana grande some love you guys know Ari um cloud is very popular because apparently it resembles back at rouge by Fati, which is like the number one it's top selling cool. niche fragrance and I don't like Baccarat Rouge. So I never really like tried anything else from Ariana Grande. But this is actually quite pretty. And this is Essayez Moi. Oh, no, sorry, that's Try Me in a different language. That's all right. More like this box here. Nice. And like this bottle is cute though. Okay. So let's try these fancy ones here. So this is Aria, Ariana Grande. I don't know the names. So oh, sorry. I'm gonna look up the names for you guys, and then do you know the name? What's the name of this one? It's fresh. There's a, it's a, I like it. It, it has like an no, interesting rim. 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 Okay, rim. So this is Ariana Grande rim. That's a very interesting scent. I can't pick up what I'm getting from it, but it does have somewhat of. So right, as I was saying about Ariana Grande rim. Oh, you're looking at this one. So as I was saying, Ariana Grande Rim. It's very, it's different. It smells interesting, but still a bit fresh. So it's something nice, and that's something I'll probably try to revisit in the future. So that's the Rim. So next we have Ariana Grande, and this one is next. Again, you guys, this is the first time I'm looking at these bottles in person. I don't know why this, this cover is a bit. This is a Z bottle that I've never tried. Oh my god, this is nice though. This is pretty. 
There's a fruitiness to it, but there's something else. There's something else applied to it. That's nice though. Mm -hmm. I like them. These are quite nice. Okay, okay, Ariana Grande. I see you because I've never tried any other fragrance because it's cloud. I kind of stay away from that. But this is really nice. And Gina, how much do you sell this one for? 65. Or 65 as well. So Ariana Grande for 65 US here, you guys. This is really nice. I would say I love this one. Oh, I want to try Kenzo Wall. Look at Kenzo Wall. Oh, I've never tried Kenzo one. Try Kenzo and Kenzo Wall. Kenzo Wall, the green one. Um, actually, never. Tr actually, let me try the two of them because I've never tried any of these. Very popular. And one of, which one of these is a popular one? There's one of them that people love. Kenzo, the perfume. Let's have a see that one. Let's have a look. I've never smelled that one either. So this is Kenzo Wall, which again, you guys, I have never tried. The bottles are interesting, as you can see. And how much do you sell this one for? One of five. One of five. So one of five US. It has like a darkness to it, but it's sweet and fresh at the same time, but a slight darkness to it. So that's interesting. But oh, this is intense as well. So this that's is the Kenzo Power. Kenzo Power. Oh, never smell these perfumes. Okay, Kenzo is strong, you guys. This is strong perfumes. Very strong. This one hit me. <laughs> this is nice though. I like this. I like both of them. The scent profile is nice and different. I think I like this one more. I this one is a darker. This one. Okay. Now this Kenzo what this perfume is so popular. It is. So popular. Again, I've never smelled it either. I have to go in store to get them and I I shop online a lot. This is pretty. Oh she's pretty. Mm. It smells lovely. Oh wow, I like you. She is a really pretty fragrance, I ain't gonna lie. That one is nice, nice. Mm. Very popular fragrance. I like that you guys got a lot of popular scents mm -hmm. here so available. That's good. Especially these two here, so very very available in that one. And how much do you sell this one? That's one of five. One of five. Okay. And these is one of five as well. One of five. Okay, let's move it along the line here. I want to see these ones on here okay this is carolina herrera i want to show the carolina herrera so you guys know i recently discovered carolina herrera and i've never actually tried these because you know carolina herrera is not readily available it's online you can't get them in store so can i have a try of the one in the red bottle and that's for men okay this one is a man for one me. i think it's a woman me. okay i love this i think it's a citizen so like you're the toilet i said no Oh, this is definitely okay. So, it's, it's, what's, what's this called? Chi for me, sports. Chi for sport. It definitely smell. I don't know. These fragrances that says sporty, they smell sporty. <laughs> I don't know how to explain <laughs> it, but it just has this vibe to it. I got that vibe from Dior Koham, the sport as well. Okay, so these are the male fragrances. Sadly enough, you guys, um, my audience don't really like male fragrances, they don't really pay attention much to it. So I don't really focus on male fragrances as much, but these are the availability. Let me have a smell of the 212 VIP. Let me try it. These are popular. I know that one. These ones are popular. Never smelled them, but just in case you guys want to recommend. They love this bottle. Want to recommend something for your guy. Let me have a sniff. I like the scent of this so far. I like male fragrances smell a certain way. I just like when I smell it. Okay. It's a really it's giving me um Givenchy vibes, Givenchy uh, Olympia something. I put the picture you guys know. But this is nice. It's fresh and it's like an everyday fragrance for men in my opinion. I'm guessing this would be like the nighttime version because it's darker. Okay, so this one here so it's just a little bit more deeper and woodier. It's not like stronger. It's still like an area, but there's something. A bit more deeper and woodier about this one. Nice though. I like this one a little bit more somehow. Like that one. So let's go down here. Well, how many which which flankers you guys have on the Lavia Bell? So you guys only have Lavia Bell and Tensement and original Lavia Bell. Yeah. You don't keep up. Oh, you guys have um Mama. I've never smelled this one either. This is another classic again. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Very popular. Midnight Rose. This is a classic from Lancome. Very well loved fragrance. I have never smelled it either. Mm. 
it's nice i expected it to be sweeter because they said it has like a jammy sweet rose scent but it's it's still mild and fresh it's nice but if you guys have lenny trezor the, the you like the original lenny trezor it's nice so it's stronger it's more punchier more fruitier this is like a much more a milder version of the lenny trezor to me. so how come you guys only have one of the oud bouquets one of this one right so you guys they have one of the private collection fragrances from lancome the oud bouquet which is the most popular one how come you guys only have one yeah we're only trying to this thing it's really good mm. how much what's the price 160 160 us <laughs> how yeah all the price in us no 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 i mean no 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 i mean like the actual figure so they have a price at 160 us in in england it's 160 pounds so it's actually cheaper here is that sorry? Mm -hmm. I'm there, yeah. much cheaper here. The perfumes here are much cheaper than in the UK. Some. Mm -hmm. Not all. So you can get these from this website. This is private collection. Mm -hmm. It's only available at Lancome mm -hmm. Boutique. Mm -hmm. 160 US. This is actually cheaper because. I don't, okay, so obviously because the, I'm guessing that there is universal. So it's 160 everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's what it is. Oh, oud bouquet is nice. You want to try it? Let me try it. It has an oud. Very daring fragrance. Rose, oud, praline. <laughs> And um, Magasha has an amber, it's really good, strong, very well oh. raved about, very popular, very well loved, high quality, influential scent, you guys. Okay, okay. bomb. That one is really bomb. As if you guys are, if you watch my channel, then you guys know I rave about that perfume all the time. Anything from Lancome is really good. So we have my favorite perfume brand here, or one of my favorites, Belgian Cabana. So um, you guys only have um, the light blue. The other one next to Diana cover, Diana cover for that. Let me see, I look strange. Oh, light blue sun. Mm. Diana cover for that. No. So this is my favorite fragrance from Dolce & Gabbana. You guys already know that. And of course, the number one beachy fragrance ever in the world. Oh, they're coming off. No, Diana for that. So this one, ooh, ooh. Okay, so Salvatore Ferragamo. I only tried one of them, which is in the hot pink one. You guys know when crazy or whatever, because it has in some ice cream and I think, I'm not quite sure what else it has in, but it's really, really nice. Coconut and some sweet stuff is good. So I've never tried the other ones. It's actually quite nice. It's giving me somewhat masculine vibes, even though it's Eleganza. I, I'm thinking it's for women. It is a female one. It's giving me slight masculine vibes in my opinion, but it is quite nice. The pink one is still my favorite though. Okay. Okay. We have, yeah, 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 I have that one as well. The only one in ten, very popular one as well. Nice yeah, one as well. I never try. I try. I tried this one, but I never. I wasn't into it that much. I think. You want to smell that? Mm-hmm. Smell that one. This is nice. I want to try the only one in ten. So I'll let you have a sniff for that one. This one, I know it. Oh, no, that's a red button. That's fine. Let me try that one. The only one. Okay. This is nice. I've smelled this before, and I think I had love this. <coughs> It's nice. I think it has in cherries in it. This is nice. I think it has in cherries. Okay, so that's this section. We have some Hermes for the men as well. Loewe Solo. I've never smelled anything from Loewe. Is this masculine? It's in memo and men for Hermes. So I've been hearing a lot of people talk about Loewe. I don't know the price point. What's the price of this one? The name sounds expensive. I don't know. It sounds expensive. I never tried it's the 95. That's not bad. There's some um, slight aromatic vibes to it. A slight aromatic vibe to this one. This is nice though. Yeah, definitely masculine. So I've never tried anything from Louis Vuitton. This one is good. It's a it's a name that it's a it's a it's a brand that's you know being talked about now a lot more. But only on certain channels, mostly niche channels. And this is the final section mm -hmm. here. So I'm not. These are mostly masking fragrances. Yeah, those are boss. Wow. Yeah. Nice in diesel and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So these are pretty much the entire range that's available here in you know Anguilla's one and only perfume store, right? Yeah. Only one, right? Yeah. So these are the the full range of fragrances that are available in the only perfume store in Anguilla, you guys. 
quite a decent selection i would say right so that's it you guys this is the availability of fragrances in anguilla quite a nice selection of scents i would say you guys i just realized that i forgot to mention this was actually my first job this was the first place that i walked when i was like when i was just finishing high school and i was doing some job training I was working at the insurance bill upstairs and then obviously, you know, this is a part of the insurance. Like I said to you guys, this entire complex is like a, it's a locally owned family owned business. So um, upstairs it has an insurance company. And of course the perfume store and the cosmetic store is also li linked to the insurance company. So yes, I don't know how come I, I didn't forget it, but yeah, so I've actually walked in here. I spent a lot of days in this beautiful store. I uh, love it, still love it. But of course, you know, I'm outside now of Anguilla. And I'm still exposed and still involved in beauty and cosmetics and fragrances even more now. So yeah, it is actually a passion that I've always had in me. So yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, you know, going through all the scents that's available here. I want to say thank you to the lovely staff here that gave me the chance to film in the store. Because uh, some people don't let you film, as you guys would already I'm really happy that they gave me the chance to film. And I got to see, you know, what Anguilla has, you guys. Because I was always curious. Obviously, I have not been here in a couple of years. So now I see what Anguilla has to offer you guys. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If, in fact, you did, please do give me a big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, thank you guys for supporting me. I truly appreciate the love. Bye. <laughs>